Hey there, it's Lindsay, and I'm back to talk with you about my Session 5 within the 12-part KMI Rolfing series. Uh, I'm going to make this a little bit more brief than my previous entries. I think that you guys kind of know me and what I'm doing here, and if you want to know more about this project, you can look at past videos. Uh, I'd like to keep it a bit shorter so that people can move through these a bit quicker. Uh, so, real quick, uh, this is Session 5. Session 5 is the Lower Deep Front Line. The Lower Deep Front Line is the first of a three-part subset within the 12-part series. This subset is called the Core Sessions, okay? One through four dealt with the superficial body. That kind of primed the whole body, all the fashion connective tissue necessary along the exterior in order for us to work deeper later on. Well, Session 5 is the first of those deeper sessions. It works with the inner line of the leg to create support for the knees and the pelvis from the feet up. Uh, when we worked with the session, uh, we started in my feet again. We started with the deep arch muscles within there. Um, this session worked on the fascia all up the inside of the leg, including the abductors, and did initial work in the iliacus and psoas, but I mean, we're going to go much deeper with that in future sessions, I know. So... Um, this session had a couple main observations uh, by the end of it for me. The first one uh, was that when we worked on my abductors, I realized that they are not firing the way that they should be. Uh, there's definitely a lot of muscles around them picking up for their slack and working a lot harder because they are just not working as hard as they should. Uh, this is a pretty unsurprising discovery for me because in my training, I often experience a lot of I want to say just discomfort in my in my hips and upper legs when I'm doing a lot of squat work and things like that. What I think it is now looking looking back is that I'm I'm depending on certain muscles to work extra hard and then letting others slack off. And so it's creating this weird imbalance in my body and it's making some muscles overly tight and letting others be overly loose and that's just not creating a good balance in my in my structure. So that was my first uh, observation, is that my abductors need, need some work learning how to engage. And those abductors are also super glued to the muscles next to them, and my rolfer had to literally peel them apart from each other, which felt great, <laughs> but uh, was pretty intense, and also amazing. <laughs> so, so that's definitely a, an area that I'm going to need to work on more in the future. Uh, that was my first observation. My second main observation was actually pretty huge, and it was kind of more of a big picture observation for this whole inner leg line session. Basically, in, in previous sessions, my rolfer will often ask me to do something um, to engage a muscle to move in a certain way uh, to create some sort of active release with the work he's doing as he's trying to manipulate that connective tissue and stretch it. It sometimes helps when I'm engaging and releasing as he's doing that. So I usually have no problem with that. Um, whether it's painful or not at all, it, I usually know how to articulate the different movements in my body really well. I know how to, how to, um, cipher certain muscles and actions from one another and, I'm really good at isolating certain movements um, because of what I do. So this session was very challenging for me because I didn't, I, I couldn't seem to be able to do that very easily. Every time he'd ask me to do something, I'd sit there for a couple seconds kind of confused, trying to figure out what muscles I needed to activate in order to do that while doing nothing else. Um, that might be a pretty normal response for most people in a rolfing session, uh, but this is the first time I've experienced it to this degree, um, or really at all. Um, what this taught me is that the, the particular muscle sets and the fascia that we're working right now, I don't have all that great access to up here. I don't have the same amount of control and understanding behind it that I do in certain other parts of my body. So it's, it's basically exposing a, a weakness in my structure that I can become more in tune to. Uh, laying there and being confused about exactly how to do the thing that he was asking me to do was just an incredibly uh, new experience for me. So it, it really taught me a lot in this session. Um, I definitely have a lot of focus to be given in that area and I look forward to doing deeper work in those spots where I'm 
or I'm struggling right now. Um, my next session will be the second of the deep core series. It's going to be focusing more on the abdominal area. So I'm really excited to get into that because we just barely touched on the psoas and the iliacus. And I know that I could use some work there. So until next time, you can catch up on past sessions on my YouTube channel at Lindsay K. You can also find my blogs, uh, which are updated in a series just written wise, just like this, um, at www.lindsayk.com. You can also find me on a few other social channels from that site. And uh, until next week, thanks.